Well, they got us. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. They got us good. Well, hey everyone, uh, I'm Kevin, the sole person behind Bowling Planet for all these years. I've been running Bowling Planet since it first started back in 2019. I was just a little 14 year old at the time. Yeah, I was pretty young when I started all this stuff. I was so into bowling. I've been into bowling since I was like a little eight year old. And I just thought that the bowling community needs something more. I've seen these sick basketball edits and like these cool compilations from like the NFL, things like that. I was like, why does bowling not get that treatment? I feel like bowling is a, a good sport to, you know, deserve that treatment. So I tried to take it into my own hands and, you know, do things like that. Like I made funny montages, which I genuinely think is not funny anymore nowadays. Some of them were really not funny and I genuinely don't know why you guys like them <laughs> because I watched them back now and I am like cringed out. It, it, no, I, I just can't. I'm sorry. I can't watch my own videos. I made serious compilations like the dramatic PBA match ending series. I genuinely am proud of that. I love it and I will defend it to its death. And the PBA splits compilation series, that was also a pretty good series. Oh my gosh. And the season highlights, those were always a solid thing for me to just pump out some content for people who are looking for a quick recap of the show who weren't able to watch the whole thing. So how did I get into PBA telecast uploading? So at the time, there was this other YouTube channel called Bozoras, I think that's how you say it, and they were cranking out PBA telecasts since like 2016, 2015 or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was mentioned in a community post by them that they would soon start slowing down or stopping because of copyright issues. And because I already knew around the time that they posted that, that I already had a good fan base, I felt that. Let's continue this. I think fans deserve to watch the shows when they come out as soon as possible. So, Blazora stopped uploading after the Jimmy Allen challenge back in 2022. And so for the entirety of the 2023 season, I took over, uploaded the entire season, PBA Tour Finals, Players, Championship, all that stuff. And then we get to the start of the 2024 season, I upload the Players Championship just fine, the US Open, the Elite League, and today, I got the dreaded message. You received a copyright strike. You now have two copyright strikes. If you get a third, we'll have to terminate your channel. And you can just see all the shows that they took down. They even took down the 2023 Elias Cup Finals for my channel too. But they, they went crazy. They took quite a bit off. Which is really unfortunate because I know there's a lot of international viewers out there that are trying to watch bowling. And they can't. And the PBA themselves don't upload shows until maybe a week to a month after the shows have already aired. So, and at that point in time, people just have stopped caring about the results. Or they've already leaked the results. Like, on their website, they release news, like, presses and all that stuff about the results. And you can get spoilers. And then at that point, why even watch the show? So yeah, that's where we sit at the moment. I've been getting questions of whether I'm going to be returning back to my old Bowling Planet content of, like, PBA splits, PBA dramatic match endings and honestly i don't have a definitive answer i just started college a few months ago and if you're a fellow college student or have already gone through college you know time is a crunch <laughs> it's like there's no time to do anything especially when you're majoring in computer science like i am there is no time to do anything so is this saying that i'm gonna be quitting youtube no but is this saying i might be slowly disappearing off the platform Maybe. But to make light of this video, we're actually going to be going through some of the questions that you guys have sent me over the years uh, regarding Q&A stuff, and we're just going to go answer them. Okay, I got my trusty laptop here. We're going to look at some old community posts. So I'm looking, and yeah, I promised a face reveal at 20k subs. My bad. All right, first question. Can you make a video of Rob Stone yelling? No! Ah, no! What if you did a mini series or something where you record yourself bowling and improving? That would be pretty cool in real life content, not gonna lie. Honestly, in real life content wouldn't hurt. It's, it's a good way to transition off of this uh, uploading telecasts thing. But honestly, you're just gonna be watching me briefcase the ball the entire time, and I don't think anyone would wanna watch that. <laughs> Show us your bowling style, and if you haven't gotten a perfect game, do a little side series where you work to get a perfect game. I've actually shot 300 before. Only once. And if you want to see my bowling style, here's a quick clip. Yeah! 
it's not amazing. <laughs> my wrist, bro. My wrist game sucks. Haven't we already seen your face? I thought of you as the guy that whips, flaps his arms at the start of every video. Oh, I have a funny story about that, actually. So, um, <laughs> I got that off of, I think, the 2019 Indianapolis Open show, like, right at the beginning, when, like, Dave Lamont and Randy Peterson are introducing themselves. And the dude that was actually flapping his wings saw my video and commented on it. That's, that's a good plot right there. Drop OnlyFans link. So for all we know, you could be a professional bowler on tour. No. No face reveal. Alright. How long have you bowled? Are you bowling collegiately? I guess as a broader court. <sighs> How long have you bowled? Are you bowling collegiately? I guess as a broader question. Can you run down your personal bowling journey? Okay. So I first picked up a bowling ball when I was like an 8 year old. It was like 2012. And... I bowled once and then I took a long break. Like I just stopped doing it until like 2015 and then I got, I bowled like five more games and then I took like another two year break and then I finally slowly started getting back into it and I was like, damn, this is kind of fun. And then eventually the pandemic rolled around and I was like, okay, this is where everyone picks up their COVID hobby. And for me, it was bowling. I had a bowling alley nearby and I would go there very often every weekend and just throw some shots. And eventually I was like, maybe I should like do something with this skill. So I bought myself a Brunswick Rhino and eventually a phase two. And I joined my uh, high school varsity team and honestly didn't do too bad. Made the state and I mean, we didn't win, but we made the state. But you know, ever since high school, um, I haven't done much bowling. I'm not a collegiate bowler. There's no collegiate bowling where I am at college and it's pretty unfortunate. My question is, what inspired the name? Are you a big fan of space and bowling and just decided to combine the two? Uh, no, not a huge fan of space. I'm not a huge sciencey guy, which is ironic because I'm literally going into computer science. Uh, I know I had to have bowling in the name just so it could be, you know, linked to the sport of bowling. And I just wasn't sure what to add to the end of it. So I was like, okay, we want this sport to be globalized. So bowl global bowling sounded boring. So, and the next thought I think was Bowling Planet, and I just rolled with that. I didn't realize you were that young. Good luck to you in school. Yeah, I am, <laughs> I joined the YouTube game pretty early at 14, but I know people who joined way earlier, so not that early. Hopefully engineering majors, so you can design some <laughs> free fall pin setters that are cheaper to maintain than string, oh my God, not the string pins. I would like to have it on record that string pins are the worst thing to happen to this sport. For Q&A, what is your major and are you bowling collegiately? Comp sci major, not bowling collegiately. <gasps> Oskew commented on this. Oh my god, bro. I literally forgot Oskew commented on this. Congrats, nice milestone. Dude, Oskew, if you're watching this, love you, man. Would it be possible to do a video on PBA Messengers and Lucky Strikes compilation? Oh, that's a good series. That was a good compilation series. I, If I start uploading, I'll be back on it. Don't even worry. Do you participate in bowling leagues? or even bowl slash bowl for your school. I've actually never participated in a bowling league. I bowled uh, in high school on my varsity team. This guy right here predicted the future, Adam. Now, where will I get my PBA content if not you in 2024? Oh man, Adam, time traveler, he knew. How did you get into bowling in the first place? Um, gosh, I don't even remember how I ended up in a bowling alley in 2012. I honestly think it was my I know my dad took me, but I don't know why we went. <laughs> we just went, I was like, oh, ball, throw. Do you like bowling? No, I absolutely despise. <laughs> Who's your favorite player? Norm Duke. I loved him and I still love him now. I started watching the PBA in 2011 and it was, or not 2011, 2010. And it happened to be the PBA tournament of champions when Kelly Kulik won. And when I saw that, I was like, damn gotta keep watching that was a good first show to watch 2010 pba tournament of champions mika chris rhino getting destroyed by kelly kulik good stuff and then when i saw norm duke for the first time i think in i think it was the 2011 us open i saw him for the first time i was like that's my man omg i'm so excited for the face reveal carter smith carter smith's a buddy of mine I've had so many of my high school friends troll me about doing a face reveal. Like, ever since they had 10K, they was like, oh, where's the Bowling Planet face reveal? Now they can't shade on me about it. Take that, Carter. And, uh, fortunately, I think that's all we got time for. So, 
Thank you for tuning in. I know these are very trying times for the channel. And by the channel, I mean me, because I have to deal with this now. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this channel. I could either let it die or figure something out, but we'll see. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is still so fresh. This literally just happened like an hour ago, but yeah, we'll see. I'll see you astronauts on the other side.